Another simple force in simulation is friction. The friction is uh, actually for reducing the speed of the emitters or movement of the object. Friction in this emitter. If you turn it off, as you can see, if you play, this is our emitting speed of the particle. This is our friction. As you can see, this is a just point. You can uh, change it, its field. This is an option, uh, object, and the field. Let's see what happened. As you can see, it's reducing the speed of the particles. That if you want to change its position, you have to make them from the first but it is an infinite first going and change uh, something like box fields here you can change the shape of that change the fall off of that and here you can see if they reach here as you can see they are reducing its speed nice you can change its position but again i suggest you to change the all friction as you can see the axis of the friction now is changing it's different to axis of it's sometimes confusing sometimes uh, causing the problems okay so then friction and we have fields i explained them before we have two uh, so, uh, strengths this is for reducing actually the control if you increase your dixis number you can change the strings the power of this um force this is for re linear movement and this is for angular controlling the speed of the angular movement of the uh, particles and as i explained it before its mode it is for controlling the dynamic object it's it's this acceleration does not calculate the mass of the objects this force is controlling this is an emitter <clears throat> you can assign the Con uh, friction to uh, objects for example we are going to the this and uh, clear the initial states and as you can see you can uh, you, you you don't need to uh, <coughs> assign this friction to any object if you insert it it's calculated all objects and go to the friction uh, box field you can make it a bigger and uh, need to make it bigger and zero its fall off and as you can see if it, it's not there all of the objects falling down with a regular speed but if you turn on the friction as you can see that we have yeah as you can see we have the friction and all of the object are not you are you, it's you can control the speed of the this simulation there nice yeah nice with the particles so this uh, effect is uh, all of these forces are affecting all of dynamic close simulation particle anything in cinema 4d okay but it's very simple to tap object and this if you have a bigger or a smaller object or if you have a object that has changing as you can see they're controlling the speed of that nice or falling down very low speed just this is a friction it's actually the friction in the air you can imagine that Hello my friends, to continue these tutorials on YouTube, subscribe us, like us, and hit the bell icon. And now, you will be alerted about all of the amazing videos that we release.